Hey everybody, Steve here, and uh, I'm excited to talk to you today about a killer, killer combination. This is uh, the Radio Master TX16S Multi Protocol Radio, and over here on the left is the Emacs Tiny Hawk Freestyle 2, an amazing, amazing little quad that you will have so much fun with. You're just not going to know what to do with yourself. So what we're going to do is we're going to get this talking to this so that we can fly this with this. All right, so this is what we're going to do. We are going to assume that you know absolutely nothing. That you just bought this and you just bought this and you are wanting to fly. And if you're new to this radio, congratulations. You just bought the most awesome radio that you could possibly have bought. And, oh, by the way, I have a 15-part series on how to get you up and running on this thing. Just check the description below for a playlist of every single video that you'll ever need to be able to fly this thing with multi-rotors. First thing you want to do is just note that this thing rolls and it presses. So what we're going to do is we're going to long press, just like so, and we're going to do a model select, and then we're going to long press it again, and we are going to create a model. Now check out how easy this is. You just kind of roll it to pick, and we're going to pick plane, and we're going to say go. And then I'm going to page forward using this page forward button right here. It says, does it have a motor? Yeah, it's got a motor. What channel is it on? Yeah, it's on channel three. Page forward. How many ailerons? I'm going to select it to get it um, blinking. And I'm going to change this to one, like so. And I'm good with uh, the channel selection. Page forward. We don't have flaps. We've got one elevator and one rudder. Yeah, that looks good. Let's page forward. And let's see what we got. We got... Aileron on one, elevator on two, motor, also known as throttle on three, and rudder on four. That's A-E-T-R. That's the way Betaflight does things, so we are good to go. So I need to go ahead down here and change this to yes, all is well, create the plane. Boom. Model successful. Hit return. Boom. And here we are in model 23. First thing we want to do is get rid of that lame name, model 23. All right, so confirming that we're in our new model with the little check mark that you see right here go ahead and hit return again and now this little mdl stands for model we're going to go into the model sub menus and long press and these across the top are all the sub menus and there's a lot of them and it might look intimidating and scary and all that kind of stuff but i've got 15 videos that'll help you through all that all right so this is the basic setup right here on our inputs we got an aileron elevator throttle and rudder we're going to make this as easy as possibly can, and we're just going to go back to model setup. And I'm going to long press on this to get, get them blinking. And I'm going to change this. And then when you're done typing, you just want to keep typing until you get all of it highlighted because that's when we know that we can roll to the next field. And I'm going to roll to the next field, and I'm going to select it. Now, you're not going to have this model in yours, but I took a picture of my Tiny Hawk and preloaded it before the video, and I've got a video teaching you how to do that, too. All right, so the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to kind of scroll on down a little bit, and we are looking for something that says, there it is, internal RF mode, and it is currently set to off. And what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to go and select multi and then in the next field we're going to select fr sky and keep in mind there's several fr skies you just want the simple plain simple fr sky right there and then we're going to come over here to d16 and we're going to change that to d8 because this is a d8 protocol where it says module update recommended um, that's not something i'm going to do right this second it is something that i will do in another video and then we're going to come down here and we're going to get ready to hit bind, but we're going to do a couple things first. All right, I'm going to call your attention to the fact that I took the propellers off of the quad. This is a safety thing. Anytime I put juice to a quad, I want the propellers off. And if you want to ask me why, even though I know that these things are kind of dinky, and I've actually never been hit by one of these before, but I have been hit by 12-inch props before, and um, it was a long day in the emergency room. So uh, anytime you put juice to your quad, you're going to probably want to have the propellers off. Even if these guys don't hurt you, it's probably a good practice that you want to start getting used to. All right, in order to bind this guy, 
this guy is actually a little bit mischievous because if you look at the top right here, right here, there's a button. This little guy might try to trick you because there is a button right there. And if you try to use that as the bind button, you're going to be sorely disappointed. That's actually the boot button. So in order to bind this little guy, you need to flip him over. And the bind button is a little trickier to get to. But if you look, you flip him around the right way, you can see the bind button is right here. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the radio and uh, make sure that you're set for FR Sky D8. And I'm going to hit the bind button. I'm going to hit the bind button on the radio right here. Get it chirping. I'm going to come over here, get it sort of plugged in, but not really all the way plugged in. If you get it all the way plugged in, just back it off. All right, so I'm going to come in here and hit the bind button. And I'm going to turn off the light, so hopefully you can see the colors and power. So I got red and solid blue, red blinking, green blinking, and now I've got solid blue. So, all right, you will most likely not hear her say telemetry recovered. The reason why she said telemetry recovered is because 60 seconds before I filmed this, I did a dry run to make sure that I could get it right so that I wouldn't waste your time on camera. So if you're looking for a different way to bind the thing without having to hit that little tiny button on the bottom, let's go into beta flight and take a look at another option. I'm going to go ahead and unplug it like so. All right, so I'm going to take this guy and unplug him in via USB like so. And I'm going to open up a piece of software called beta flight and I'm going to go ahead and hit connect. And there it is. I'll move my quad around, make sure that it's moving. And it is, it's connected. And if I go over to, uh, my receiver's still on, if I go over to the receiver and I move some sticks, uh, it's, it's not doing anything um, at all. So I'm going to cheat the whole process. And what we're going to do is with our radio on, we're going to go down to CLI. Now I'm going to give it power. Like so quad is now plugged in, props are off. All right, so let's go ahead and give the command bind underscore RX space SPI. But before we hit SPI, I want to come back over to the radio and I'm going to hit the button to make it chirp and go into bind mode. So there's that. And now I'm going to hit enter on the computer. And it says binding. All right, let's shoot back over here so you can see what I'm doing. I can go ahead and get out of this mode right here by hitting enter a few times. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to unplug one of the batteries. And then I'm going to plug it back in, like so. And now I should be able to go back to Betaflight and go to the receiver tab. All right, so check it out. Now you can see both. If I move my throttle stick, you see my throttle goes. My throttle's good. And there's my yaw back and forth. And here's my pitch. And here's my roll. So everything is working as it should be pretty cool and that is how you bind the tiny hawk all right so now I can um, unplug and I'm gonna hit disconnect and unplug lost. so in conclusion what we just did is we bound our tiny hawk freestyle 2 to the Radio Master TX16S. We used the FR Sky D8 protocol and we bound it using the CLI. And the command that we used was bind underscore RX SPI. All right, so the question now is will it fly? And the answer is if you can figure out how to get it armed, it will fly. I actually just did a test. Um, but the flight characteristics are pretty poor. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to set this little guy up so that he flies much, much better. And we're going to do that in the next video, which I will include a link to in the description below so that you can find it easily. So anyhow, I'm Steve. I hope you found that helpful. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. 
So if you liked the video and you found it beneficial, please do me a favor, share it on social media, post it to a board, tell somebody, tell your dog. No, not your dog. Tell somebody else who loves to fly. Word of mouth is the best way for me to grow my channel, and the more I grow my channel, the more I will have opportunities to make more videos on your behalf. So anyhow, I'm Steve, I'm signing off, but don't you go far, because I'm going to start working on the setup video right now.